everybody, it's Mickey, and today is Saturday, April 6th, and I have a day full of errands planned for myself, and I'm taking you all along with me. If you are new here, I hope you will subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So today I am wearing a super comfy casual Saturday outfit. I have on my favorite jeans and tee from Target, this gray Market and Spruce cardigan, and my comfy black Clark loafers. Today we are heading out to the furniture store to look at some love seats for our new home project that I'll be sharing with you. We'll be doing a short done run at Home Goods. I have a small grocery haul and we're going to talk a little bit about skincare. So our first stop is at Wolf Furniture, which is my favorite furniture store here in my area. I have bought a lot of things here in the past and they always seem to have what I am looking for. And today I am looking for a small love seat to replace the love seat in my living room. So I am usually pretty good about doing my research before I come out to the furniture store. So I have a very good idea what I am looking for and I was lucky enough to find it here today. The hardest part for me is choosing fabrics and this time around I really want to lean more towards a neutral color scheme so that I have the flexibility of changing things out with the seasons. So these are the color swatches that I brought home from the furniture store today. This is the one that I am thinking of for the love seat itself and the other two fabrics will be for pillows and seat covers for chairs that I already have in that room. I really like the idea that I am able to order some extra fabric to cover the cushions on the living room chairs that I am keeping and also for the seats of my dining room chairs so that everything in these two rooms can kind of flow into each other. So we have a new project that we are working on over here in the living room and the dining room side of our house and as you may know I have been talking about lightening up my home for probably the last two years now. So these are the last two rooms that are left here on our main level to do and then we will be completely done with the downstairs, I hope. So to get this all started, my husband is putting up a shiplap wall for me and I am just so excited about it because I wanted to do something different in here but I didn't want it to be overwhelming so we settled on just doing this back wall here. This is the wall that my china cabinet goes on right in the middle there and I think it's going to be a really nice backdrop. I plan on painting the shiplap wall white and then the walls in these two rooms will probably be a mindful gray from Sherman Williams. At least that is what the plan is now. So once he gets done with the shiplap wall, he's going to be putting some trim all around the entranceway to the, um, to the living room and then all around each of the windows in both rooms. You know, in the past, I have always gravitated towards very dark and deep shades, so it's going to be really fun to see this side of the house all brightened up, and it's just really good to change things up to something different every now and then. And I really know I am lucky that my husband is able to very easily do these projects for us. It has saved us so much time and money, and has really enabled us to get a lot of things done in a short period of time. So I will be sure to share more with you guys about these projects as we get further along and these rooms come together. After the furniture store, I headed into Home Goods where they are pretty well stocked with some staple Ray Dunn pieces. I, you know, I have a fairly good size Ray Dunn collection, so I am only shopping at this point for birdhouses and any of those items that are on my wish list. So I do have a little Ray Dunn haul for you guys today. Y'all came up with me to um, my home goods store this afternoon because we are on the quest for birdhouses. But I don't know where you guys live, but here in Northern Virginia, it is impossible to find any birdhouses in the stores here. So I had heard that there were supposed to be some more or more birdhouses released in the month of April, so maybe I'll be able to come across one or two. 
But I was lucky enough today to find some pieces that I kind of thought, or I guess I lost hope of ever coming across them. And these are from the bathroom collection that I was really searching for a couple months ago. A square soap dispenser um, that I'm probably going to be putting at my sink in my master bedroom. And I found a little hold container that I think is, yeah, it was $7.99. So I think this is a perfect size for like, um, you know, those little cotton rounds or Q-tips or something like that. And then the things container was also $7.99. And I think this would be really a great container for like cotton balls and those kinds of things. And then I was so happy to find this brush container for toothbrushes. And I really like the fact that it has a lid so it will be you know, easy to, easier to clean. And this one was $6.99. So these are the ones that I found today and I've not given up hope of finding my birdhouses because I'm sure eventually, I hope, somebody will come across it. I mean, I have children in like three different states, so <laughs> hopefully one of them will come across a birdhouse and send it you know, home to their dear old mom. So I have a really tiny grocery haul for you, but you know, it is my birthday weekend and I don't plan on cooking much, but I did want to make salsa chicken tonight. So I went up and just got a few things at the store. I was able to get my thin chicken breast for buy one, get one free, which is always a great deal. I have some red peppers, green peppers, onions for confetti rice and I have some um, Fuji apples which are my favorite. I got a deal on my picante sauce. They were two for four dollars. I got a couple of these vitamin waters in I think it's called dragon fruit. Yeah dragon fruit flavor. These are my favorite. I really like these and I got some yogurt some sour cream, I got a dozen of eggs, I got a little package of M&Ms, you know, birthday weekend and all that good stuff. And I have um, a couple of these little um, mini guacamoles. I like to buy them in this little packet because I don't always make my own and these you can just grab and it's just enough for a serving so you're not opening a big container and just having it go brown. So I really like these. And I got some um, little packs of diced peaches and some fat-free milk. So that was my little tiny grocery haul. So lastly today, I get a lot of questions about skincare. So I thought at the end of today's video, I would share with you my skincare routine and the products that I use. Now when I was younger, I had a lot of cystic acne, so I learned at a really young age how important it was to take care of your skin because I had to work really hard to keep my skin clear. Now I know there are a lot of products here but these are the ones that really work for me and I depend on them every day to keep my skin clear and smooth. In the morning and at night cleansing is one of the most important steps and for this I always use Purity Made Simple from Philosophy. I get it in this jumbo size from QVC and I will leave all the links to all these products in the information bar down below. But this product is excellent to remove your makeup without drying out your skin. Next, I use some type of exfoliating product. So usually on the daily, I stick to the Skin Perfecting Liquid from Paula's Choice. This is something that you put on a cotton round and you just wipe all around your face. Exfoliating is really good for your skin because it helps your other products just to work better. So about twice a week, I will use um, this mask also from Purity Philosophy and it's really good for your pores and it's sometimes I use it as a mask and sometimes I just use it as a scrub. Either way it works really well. So after that and before I put on my makeup I use a bunch of different IT Cosmetic products. My favorite of these products is this Bye Bye Line Serum. This is one of those products that I saw an immediate improvement in my skin and I have so many backups of this, I never want to be without it. I also use the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. This is a moisturizer that I use in the morning and also at night and I find that it stays with me long throughout the day and all night long. 
Now they also have a great eye cream that does not burn my eyes at all. I always have to be careful about what I use in that eye area. I'm just really sensitive there for some reason and this I have no problem with at all. And then I also use the IT Cosmetics neck and chest cream as well. So at night I use two products from Alginist and the first one I use is this concentrated serum that I use right after I wash my face and then the next product that I use which is one of my favorites and I could not be without is this power recharging night serum. Now these two products from Alginist are on the more expensive side than anything else that I use in my whole skincare routine, but they really have improved the texture and the smoothness of my skin so much that to me they are worth the price. Now I have found that QVC really does have the best pricing for most of the skincare products that I use, but you know you can find them in other stores as well. But I will put some links down below to the products that I have mentioned so that you can check them out for yourself and see what you like. So thank you all so much for watching today. If you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned in today's video, go ahead and leave your questions in the comments section down below. While you're there, I hope you will subscribe. I would love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, and I will see you again soon. Bye!